in seventy four you founded FOCA. Did you had you always thought to yourself, my God, there's an opportunity here because a lot of these people are a bit disorganised and it's all a bit of a rabble, but it could be, I've got a vision for it or not. How much of this was planned or was it? No, I said early on, I don't plan things. Things happen. The teams asked me, would I do these things? Would I represent them? So did Frank and Ken and Co. Did they they they? This was a discussion, was it? Yeah, it was before that. It was when Max was... This was early days before 70... F I don't know whether it was before 74 or, or in was, 70... Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's what happened. I mean, they said, would I do this and look after everything? And then he sort of went from there. They wanted to give me 8% of the prize money that I got which whether I got or not, it didn't make any difference. It wasn't for that reason that we did that. It needed doing. I was going to ask you actually about that, in the, um, because are you motivated by money? Have you been? No. no. No, I'm motivated, I like to do good deals. Yeah. And I get really upset with myself if I don't. So it's nothing to do with how much money it nothing to do with that. It's, achieve, it's like winning a race, it's just achieving something. Are you saying that by doing everything very well the money comes anyway, is that sort of what you're saying? But, I mean it's a case of, depends where, how you, what, you, what sort of deals you do to make money. Are you like that in Sainsbury's as well? I mean do you like a deal generally speaking? I hate to buy anything at this price. <laughs> Okay. Don't we all? <laughs> um, as you went along, the job got bigger and bigger and bigger, and Formula One, and we used to call it Grand Prix racing, and we went and stood on the bank and all that, and it yeah. was pretty miserable actually, although the racing was great. Uh, and suddenly it's become this huge thing, global television, uh, lots of very glitzy teams. Did you ever, have you ever stood back and looked at it and thought, that's what I wanted to do? No. You look at all sports, they've all, the same things happen with all, nearly all sports. Mm. They've sort of moved away from what they were, you know. Mm, mm, mm. I think we probably started all that, you know, with silly things like passes to get in so people didn't have to queue up forever. And, and, uh, it's a pity some of these people today didn't have to go through those things. And I don't agree. Forget, I mean today, don't forget, they pick the cars up from their factories and deliver them into the garages at the circuit. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry how they got there or if they got there. Mm -hmm. there millions of other things that are just people take as normal today's. And it's a pity that some of the people can't go back and see how it was. Trouble is, though, of course, you can never go back. Can no. You? And um, I mean, I no, you wouldn't want to go back to that, but see how things were built. Mm. Any regrets? No, no, I don't have any regrets about anything. Really? Seriously? Seriously. Nothing. Nothing. You lucky man. I wouldn't turn back and say anything I've done. You know. I'm quite happy with all the things I've done. Are you really good at moving on? Yep, exactly right. Yesterday's gone. Job done. Yeah. Okay.